10 must know Cydia tips. Yes, refresh. Because if I tell you about a tweak that you don't see Insidia, chances are it's because you need a refresh because it's like, it just came out. And if you don't refresh, it's not gonna show up in your list of Cydia tweaks. So that is an easy tip to remember. Just always refresh Cydia. That way it'll pull in all the latest stuff from all the various repos that you have configured on Cydia. Now, troubleshooting slow repos, when you do refresh, sometimes it takes forever to refresh. I mean, like forever. Well, you can troubleshoot that by tapping the sources button at the bottom and then just looking. You could see right there, you see it's still refreshing. You see the little spinny little logo there. Just delete that or obviously you may not want to delete it, but that'll tell you why CD is so slow to refresh. Probably a repo. Now, understanding search. Now, Cydia does provide you with search suggestions. So I'm gonna type in folder enhancer here and it'll show you basically three suggestions, but that is not all of the tweaks or, or stuff that contains the word folder enhancer. You actually have to tap the search button and that'll bring back all the results with folder enhancers. So just keep that in mind. Search results are not the end all be all. Next up, we have disabling sections because Cydia has tons of different sections available. If you tap sources here and you tap all sources, you'll see a list of all the sections and there's tons of stuff. There's themes, there's toys, there's uh, Zeppelin add-ons, there's carrier bundles. See, here's add-ons, here's add-ons for Zeppelin. All these are just for Zeppelin alone. Say you don't ever use Zeppelin. Well, you may not care about that. So tap edit in the upper right hand corner and just turn it off like that. And you can do that for any section in here. So if you don't care about ringtones or themes or anything else, just go in and disable it and it won't show up in your changes section. Very, very handy tool. Now adding or removing repos because sometimes I tell you about repos or about tweaks that are on other repos that aren't on default Cydia repos. So to do so, tap sources, and then, first of all, if you wanna delete a repo, it's super easy, just swipe on it like that and tap delete, and that'll get rid of that repo, and there it's gone, just like that. Now, if you wanna add a repo, tap the edit button in the upper right-hand corner, and then tap add in the upper left-hand corner, type your repo address. I'm gonna type in one of my favorites, Ryan Petrich, so it's rpetrich.ch slash repo, and then just tap add source. It verifies, goes through, gets all the packages, and once it's done, tap return to Cydia, and there you see Ryan's source there. Here's his repo with all his different tweaks and stuff. You can go in and enable a different, disable certain sections as well. Um, so yeah, that's how you add a source. Super easy, right? All right, our next tip is to see recently installed tweaks because sometimes you just wanna see, what did I just install? Sometimes you forget. So go to your install tab and then tap recent at the top and that'll show you in chronological order with the most recent tweak at the top. Now you may have also noticed that there's a user in an expert tab right next to that uh, recent section there. Now, user is just a list of all your basic tweaks, but if you tap expert, that gives you an in-depth look at some of the low level stuff, some of the libraries, frameworks, uh, and some of the tools like zip and just a lot of developer oriented stuff. You do need to be aware of this stuff, but chances are you probably don't need to use the expert tab all the time. Now, how do you see your prior purchases? Well, tap the Cydia tab and then tap where it says manage account. You'll have to log in. Once you do, tap installable purchases and then you'll see a list. It may be short, it may be long, depending on your purchase history. As you can see mine, it's crazy. I've spent hundreds of hundreds of dollars on Cydia tweaks over the years. You know, I've actually had some people uh, say to me, Jeff, you support piracy or obviously, obviously you pirated that tweak. You didn't pay for all those tweaks. Well, folks, Tell that person to look at this video. <laughs> Next up, taking advantage of queuing. This is such a great feature in Cydia. Now, say you wanna download multiple tweaks or uninstall multiple tweaks. Well, when you tap install at the top, you can of course tap confirm, but instead tap continue queuing to queue up uh, multiple installs or multiple uninstalls, if you will. And that way you can do multiple things and process all those at the same time. So you can see here, searching for another tweak. I'm gonna tap install, tap continue queuing. You see, this is saving you so much time because you don't have to go in one by one, respring, and then go back into Cydia, uh, install the next tweak. 
See, you can just continue queuing. You can even uninstall tweaks if you want to, like I'm doing right here. So I'm gonna find a tweak to uninstall. Let's uninstall unlock sound. I'll just tap modify, remove. So you could see the queue have several tweaks for installation and then one tweak for removal and then just tap confirm and it'll go through process all those at the same time so that saves time because i don't have to do them all individually definitely recommend queuing and last but not least disabling cydia substrate because who hasn't installed a tweak that's put them in a boot loop? Or who hasn't installed a tweak that just really did a number on their system? Well, instead of doing a fresh restore, which is a knee jerk reaction, just restart your iPhone by holding home and power. And then once you restart, you wanna hold the up volume button on the side of your iPhone like this. And we're gonna just reboot up now. So I'm just gonna hit the power button, continue holding the volume button up, the up volume button, and what this is going to do is this is going to force Cydia, or sorry, force your iPhone to boot without loading Cydia Substrate. And since Cydia Substrate isn't loading, then all the tweaks and any tweaks that may have caused a problem don't load either. So this is a great way to troubleshoot your issues without having to perform a system restore, which is just like extreme. You don't generally need to do that even if you're in a boot loop, just restart your iPhone while holding the up button, the up volume button, and now, we can just unlock and you can let go of the volume button now. I'm not holding it right now. And once you go into Cydia, you can uninstall any packages that were causing you problems. So that is a great way to fix this issue. And you can also use the recent tab, by the way, that we showed you earlier. Use the recent tab and I'm just showing you right now. You don't see any Cydia tweaks there listed in my settings because none of them are loaded because Cydia Substrate is not loaded. But again, go into Cydia, uh, go into your install tab, go into the recent tab, and there you can see any recent tweaks that you may have installed that caused you problems. So then you just uninstall the tweaks that were causing you issues and restart your iPhone again this time holding home, holding power to reset it, and don't hold the up volume button as you reboot this time so you can load Cydia Substrate and enjoy your tweaks in a working iPhone without the tweak that was causing you problems. So that was 10 Cydia tips. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadPlaw.